In this video, we're going to learn about the Chicken McNugget Theorem. And we're going to start off by reading this problem right here. If I have two integers, m and n, which are relatively prime, then what is the largest integer that cannot be written in the form am plus bm, where a and b are any non-negative integers? So first of all, just in case you didn't know, if two numbers are relatively prime, that means that their greatest common denominator is equal to 1. So the greatest common denominator of m and n is 1 because they are relatively prime. a and b are any non-negative integers. So that means a and b can be any integer that is 0 or greater. So a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0. Now what the Chicken McNugget theorem tells us is that if we have two relatively prime integers m and n, the largest integer that can't be written in the form am plus bn will be mn minus m minus n. So let's go use this theorem to solve some problems. A store sells screws in packs of 14 and 25. What is the largest number of screws a person cannot buy if you are allowed to order any number of both packs of screws? So first of all, we're allowed to buy any number of both packs of screws. So we could buy one pack of 14 and zero bags of 25. So we'd have bought 14 screws in total, or two bags of 14 and 20 bags of 25, which would be, that's 500, plus 28 would be, 528 screws. So basically, we're allowed to buy any number of screws in the form A times 14 plus B times 25 as long as A and B are non-negative integers. And we notice that 14 and 25 are relatively prime because the factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14 and the factors of 25 are 1, 5, and 25. They share no factors except for 1, so their greatest common denominator is 1, which, like I said in the beginning, means they're relatively prime. So we can use the Chicken McNugget theorem to find our answer. If 14 is m and 25 is n, then our answer will be 14 times 25 minus 14 minus 25. 14 times 25 is 350 minus 14 minus 25, that's minus 39. So we have 350 minus 39, which is 311. Now let's move on to the next problem. McDonald's used to sell chicken nuggets in packs of 9 and 20. What was the largest number of chicken nuggets a person couldn't buy if you were allowed to take any number of both packs of chicken nuggets? So again, we're told we can take any number of both packs of chicken nuggets. So that means we could take 2 packs of 9 and 5 packs of 20 for 118 chicken nuggets, or 0 packs of 9 and 0 packs of 20 for 0 chicken nuggets, or we could even do 100 packs of 9 and 50 packs of 20 chicken nuggets, which would give us 900 plus 1,000, 1,900 chicken nuggets. So we could buy any number of chicken nuggets in the form A times 9 plus B times 20, where A and B are non-negative integers because we can only buy an integer number of packs of chicken nuggets. Now we notice that if 9 and 20 are relatively prime, then we can use the Chicken McNugget theorem to help us out. So let's check that. The factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9, and the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. They share no common factors except for 1, so their greatest common divisor or factor is 1, which means they are relatively prime. 
so we can use the chicken McNugget theorem to get the answer. We're looking for the largest number of chicken nuggets that we cannot make if we can buy packs of 9 and 20. So our answer should be 9 times 20 minus 9 minus 20. 9 times 20 is 180, minus 9 minus 20 is minus 29, so we get 151. And before we leave, I just wanted to give you a fun fact. The chicken McNugget theorem was made to solve this problem that we just solved.